I'm here at CES Day 2 with Ali from Square Mind. How are you doing today? Pretty good and pretty busy. Yeah, definitely at CES. So could you tell me more about the company? Absolutely. So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Square Mind, a health tech startup whose mission is basically to make skin screenings more efficient, more accessible. And what we're showcasing this year at CES is a product that is not commercially available yet, but will be available this year to uh, for the first time, digitize the entire screen at very high resolution in dermoscopy and make that fully automated in a few minutes. So the objective is really to help physicians with more data, uh, with AI in particular, to spot new moles, changing moles, and optimize medical time. Oh, that's fantastic. So what was the inspiration behind it? Well, we we had lots of, we worked from day one, day, you know, hand in hand with lots of physicians, lots of dermatologists at hospitals and private practices. And what struck us and still strikes them is that the standard of care today that they have at their disposal is a tool that was invented 30 years ago, which is a commodity product called the dermatoscope, a magnifier. Yeah. And it's great, but it has so many limitations. It's very manual and it doesn't help healthcare to scale at the time when the demand for such screenings are literally exploding at that same time there's a shortage of physicians. So that was the initial inspiration, really help healthcare scale, improve the standard of care for patients with groundbreaking technology. So how long have you been working on the product for? That what you see is basically the result of four years of R&D uh, and we're very uh, proud of course but uh, very happy to showcase uh, this innovation this year because it will be available to patients this year. So you say it will be available this year, around what kind of time are you planning? By year end, depends on the markets, but in Europe uh, very likely in the second semester. Okay, so are you, are you going to currently um, focus on just Europe or are you planning worldwide? Well, uh, you know, skin screenings are a global thing, right? Uh, and obviously we're in the US, the US is also a major market, so uh, from day one, we have that global ambition to serve patients all around the world. So it will be available both in the US and Europe by your end. Absolutely. That's fantastic. So what is your mission as a company? The mission, as I said, is to make skin screenings really much more efficient than what they are today, to bring automation in the process and then make them accessible to patients. Uh, so when you enable physicians to optimize time, you help them focus on other things, serve patients differently, see more patients, uh, and that's very important to reduce at the same time wait lists. And I guess in the UK you have the same problems as we have in France with months and months of wait lists, yeah. right? Which is a major problem that we need to solve, and technology can help solve it. Yeah, definitely. Especially in like the medical field, tech is making it everything so much easier and better for doctors and the patients. Yeah, yeah. And I can show you basically a, a demo or the patient experience, how it looks like. So basically for you tomorrow as a patient, what you have to do is pretty simple. You stand in front of the device, you follow the instructions on the screen, vocal, written um, guidance, and this robot arm can navigate all around your skin at close distance to capture images with this. And by following the instruction in three to four minutes, we can generate those Google Maps of the skin, super high res images of your skin. That's fantastic. So, would you be in the presence of a doctor while this would happen? Yeah, or, and uh, so a physician doesn't have to be there while you're getting scanned. I mean, it would make no point since the process is automated. Obviously, physicians are in the, more than in the loop, they're the final decision makers. So, they're able to review those scans and make a decision. But our end users are naturally private practice, private dermatology practices, hospitals. Uh, this is the people, these are the people that we target. Okay, so would you say you have any competitors in the market? Yeah, the natural competitor, the existing competitor is basically the handheld dermatoscope, which is the routine tool. We make dermoscopy and that dermatoscope augmented in a way, able to cover the full body in an automated manner. So um, that's a transition that we want to bring with that device, but it doesn't change the way physicians can you know, make a decision because the quality of imaging that they have at hand is still dermoscopy and they're trained to read dermoscopy. The innovation lies in the ability to make dermoscopy accessible for the full body, build that record, which is 
non-existent today, so that you can monitor it over time. And also, it lies in the AI tool that we first developed that helps spot new moles and changing moles. And 80% of melanomas actually are new moles. So if you can spot new moles, it's a very interesting uh, um, information in the context of cancer screening, for example. Okay, that's really interesting. So you already said your um, plan for this year is to launch properly and get it going. Do you have any other um, plans for this year? It's already a busy year with that. Okay. Uh, so our really our objective is to bring the, this innovative technology to the market this year and make our first users really love the product. And we already have lots of private practices and hospitals on the wait list for deployment. So. Uh, Real our core mission and objective for this year is to really serve them well and make them super happy as well as patients obviously super happy with this. Okay, that's great. So my final question is, how are you finding CES this year? Great event, it's our first time here. Uh, it's as great as we expected. So many innovations, uh, so many people are interested in discovering this kind of technology and they come from different walks of life. You find obviously journalists, but also industry representatives. I even talked yesterday to uh, prospective patients mm -hmm. who told us, yeah, I wish uh, my prac dermatologist has this uh, technology at hand next year or this year. So it's very interesting to have uh, this conversation. So uh, no, a great event so far. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you.